Hello, this is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria, and this is my afterthought review for Fake It Till You Make It. Uh, is Fluttershy God? Cause she's just like everywhere. <laughs> this episode is just you know totally weird, but I really kind of like it. So. <laughs> This episode at first really does seem odd. Even Dr. Wolf is kind of like confused about what was the point or the moral of this episode? Because I'm not really sure. And I also have to agree with another point that Dr. Wolf made that uh, Fluttershy realizes that she makes a mistake. Instead of, you know, Rarity telling her, oh, you made all these mistakes and everything. It's like, uh, Fluttershy immediately realizes, oh, I made a mistake and I'm sorry. So good for her. But in some ways, it was kind of obvious that she had made a mistake, is that she chased away all the customers, she called the raccoons rodents, and Smokey had to be resuscitated. No! <laughs> Unfortunately, I kind of like that scene where it's Smokey Jr. is just looking, it's like, D Dad? Dad, are you okay? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Fluttershy definitely went too far, but it's kind of interesting as to why. It was definitely a confidence thing, as she says at the end of the episode. She's always been thrust into the situation where she doesn't really know how to handle it. What's the threat count on this shirt? Uh, threat count? I don't even know what threat count is. Um, Rarity, could you please help me? Oh, right, Rarity's not here. <sighs> oh, as a programmer, I've been in this situation an awful lot where it's like a customer will ask me a question about a piece of software that I don't really know a lot about or it's like, uh, I'm not a financial guy. I don't have any idea what you just said. So, uh, help. <sighs> but it's like that it's really more of that Fluttershy really doesn't feel like she can in a way interact with these ponies unless she's like them. And someone's like, if you can't beat them, Join them. <laughs> but thing it's like, in some ways, it's like she feels like in order to satisfy her customers, she has to be like the customers. And of course, she goes too far. It's like to the point of where she's basically insulting the customers, and the customers surprisingly leave. Mm. Yeah, it's like even insulting her own friends as well. I think the problem with the the scene at the end, where like all her friends are like, you know, Fluttershy, we're concerned about you. It's like the problem with this scene is that uh, all the customers are still there. If they had been able to like sneak off into the back room and talk about this, uh, Fluttershy probably would have been able to break character and been able to just say, yeah, you know what, friends, you're right. I'm taking this too far. Forgive me. <laughs> Because she's basically doing all this acting to basically appeal to the customers. They're like, yeah, she's trying to be snooty because or she thinks the customers are snooty. And, oh, this tea is it's only lukewarm. It's barely drinkable. Blah. So she has to do the same thing. It's like, she's totally right. You know, this tea should have been warm and don't let it happen again. Grr. <laughs> and even to her friends, it's like, oh, you know, the nerve of those small town ponies. Don't pay any attention to them. I'm just going to throw them out and we'll just get back to our discussion. <laughs> I'm sure this is difficult for Fluttershy, because I remember the first time she does this, she's like, Ooh, did I just do that? <laughs> but as time goes on, she's starting to get a lot more comfortable doing this, and uh, I can sort of understand that. But I guess the overall lesson is kind of like this line from the Episode 3 audiobook, and that I kind of took and put it into my own fan fictions a little bit. Be who and what you are, and no one can truly defeat you. And to go in a little bit of my own headcanon, uh, something that headcanon Luna said to Blue Star was that you're not a weak pony, Blue Star. You already have the strength inside you. You just need to find it. And I do think that does apply to Fluttershy because we have seen that she does have the inner strength to stand up to these uh, very snooty, almost in a way aggressive ponies. She just needs to go find it. It's like she just needed the confidence to believe that she doesn't have to pretend to be some pony else. She can be herself and be all strong and everything. So, ugh, good for you. And, and again, I really did like that last dress because it was basically a dress version of the Royal Guard armor. So, yay! And in some ways, it was kind of appropriate for Fluttershy that she's got the armor of inner strength. Ugh, good for her. And I thought that was just a nice gesture. So, yo. This point at the end where she's insulting all the ponies, including her own friends, that just gets like, Fluttershy, please stop, you're making me sad, because it's like, my gosh, you just insulted your own friends. Mm. How could you? And it just, it's just, it's just not fun. What possessed you to think that was a good idea, Fluttershy? Unfortunately, it's kind of also what I'm thinking. It's like, what made you think that saying that to the customer was somehow going to convince them to purchase this dress or this piece of clothing? And just, mm. 
yeah, at that point, it's just like, that's just not fun anymore. But I think everything else beforehand was definitely fun. I definitely like seeing all these alternate personalities for Fluttershy. It was just so entertaining. It, just, it was just great. Yes! <laughs> I think overall, the lesson was a good one. And I think kind of like the whole thing that, you know, shyness is just not something that you just flip a, a switch and, okay, I'm no longer shy and everything's great and everything's easy. No, it's always a struggle. It's always a balance of how much inner strength do you unleash upon this problem or maybe you should hold back a little bit and that's pretty much the way that things are. And that's, uh, in a way, the challenge is always that there are no absolutes. There's always a balance. Still, overall, I really liked this episode. It was fun and it was entertaining and, and it kind of had a kind of a subtle lesson but i think it was a very worthwhile one and it's always great to see fluttershy stand up for herself it's it's always surprising it's like wow fluttershy didn't know you had it in you but i'm glad that you do yo so that is the end of my afterthoughts review of fake it till you make it i hope you enjoyed this video and as always thank you for commenting liking and subscribing and until next time this is blue star stay strong and pony on blue star out